Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says solve 1 upon p plus q plus x is equal to 1 upon p plus 1 upon q plus 1 upon x where we have x not equal to 0 and x not equal to minus of p plus q. So we need to solve the given equation that is we need to find the value of x. So let's see the solution. We have 1 upon p plus q plus x is equal to 1 upon p plus 1 upon q plus 1 upon x. So first of all, we transfer this term 1 upon x from the right hand side to the left hand side. So we have 1 upon p plus q plus x minus 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon p plus 1 upon q. Further, we take LCM on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So we get, on the left hand side, we get the denominator as p plus q plus x whole into x. In the numerator, we have x minus p plus q plus x. This is equal to, taking LCM on the right hand side, we get pq in the denominator and q plus p in the numerator. This gives us x minus p plus q minus x upon p plus q plus x whole into x is equal to p plus q upon pq. Now x and minus x cancels. So we have minus of p plus q upon p plus q plus x whole into x is equal to p plus q upon pq. Now dividing both sides by p plus q we get minus 1 upon p plus q plus x whole into x is equal to 1 upon pq. Now, we cross multiply and this gives us minus pq is equal to x into p plus q plus x. Or you can say this gives us x squared plus px plus qx plus pq is equal to 0. Now making pairs. From the first pair we take out x common. Inside the bracket we have x plus p. From the second pair we take out q common. Inside the bracket we have x plus p. So this gives us x into x plus p plus q into x plus p is equal to 0. Or you can say x plus p into x plus q is equal to 0, which means either x plus p is equal to 0 or x plus q is equal to 0. This gives us x equal to minus p or x equal to minus q. So we have got x equal to minus p or x equal to minus q, which means minus p and minus q are the roots of the given equation. So, we have solved the given equation. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.